My project is called Dressing the Meat of Tomorrow and it's about um, in vitro cultured meat which is where you take a small sample of animal tissue and you encourage it to grow separate from the original animal's body to form an edible piece of meat. It's very easy to imagine this becoming quite a, a disgusting form of food or something that's quite utilitarian, something that's um, mass-produced and maybe ends up at McDonald's but what I was more interested in was imagining what would happen if, if, if someone who was um, say a top name chef or something like that actually got hold of this technology and decided to make something which was um, special. And so uh, I designed uh, two objects. One is, um, one is kind of an undesigned piece of meat and um, the second was, uh, was what would end up in this restaurant. So this over here is um, it's kind of an undesigned thing. This is, this is what I imagine it would look if, if no one take any care or attention into um, designing this food. It's just come straight from the lab or from the factory and ended up in your plate. And then this is something that I designed. It's based on the, on the, on the anatomy of a, of a cow. So although it doesn't come from a real animal, um, I imagine that whoever created this um, sometime in the future, when this is normal and every day, spent some time and effort to research the original animal because they wouldn't really exist in the same way they exist today. He, he finds textbooks of um, anatomy pictures and he makes a mould from which he can then put the cell cultures in in order to grow, grow the steak. And it is possible to do it. Um, no one's eaten it yet apart from um, a group of artists from Australia called, um, called Symbiotica and they, they're the first people to culture uh, animal tissue into a steak and actually eat it. Mm -hmm.